Heartwarming, more like bone chilling. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest moments in Studio Ghibli movies. For this list, we'll be looking at those moments from the beloved studio that, intentionally or not, scared the pants off us. Number 10, Big Baby, Spirited Away. Aww. Babies are supposed to be cute, right? Well, not so much when they're this big. Yubaba's inexplicably giant infant beau is hinted at early on in the film, and from the outset, it's obvious that he's not your average rug rat. Once Chihiro actually meets Bo face to face, however, it's clear that he's even more threatening than we imagined. You came in here to make me sick. Huh? You're a bad germ from outside, aren't you? Handling Chihiro in his enormous grip, Bo is nothing short of monstrous. If his size wasn't bad enough, he's also hyper-articulate for a toddler and threatens to have his mother kill Chihiro. If you go, I'll cry, and Mama will hear me, and Mama will come in here and kill you. Play with me or I'll break your arm. We're glad that Bo gets turned into a mouse because he was kind of asking for it. <coughs> Number 9. The Forest Spirit, Princess Mononoke Despite being a divine force of elemental purity, we'd be lying if we said that the forest spirit from Princess Mononoke didn't give us the willies. In our defense, the spirit is a super freaky looking deity. It's a large deer god with an unsettling red, human-like face, a fixed, lifeless smile, and large, unblinking eyes. Still, it's not like we'd want anything bad to happen to it. When Lady Eboshi of Iron Town kills the spirit, it's extremely distressing, not only because we understand that there will be catastrophic ramifications, but also because of the way the spirit stares directly at the audience as it happens. Sad and creepy. Number 8. Bird Monster Howl – Howl's Moving Castle How? The eponymous Howl of Howl's Moving Castle is a handsome and charming wizard who, like our protagonist Sophie, we cannot help but love. This makes it doubly tragic when we learn that each time he turns into his bird form, he has a harder time regaining his humanity. It also makes it doubly horrifying to see him huddled up deep inside his castle, trying to hide this side of himself from Sophie. How is that you? During this scene, we don't get a complete look at Howl, but given what we can make out, that's probably a good thing. With big fangs, a harsh voice, and black feathers, this was a pretty unnerving moment in a relatively light film. You don't understand. I love you. You're too late. <laughs> Owl, no! Number 7. Cobb's Transformation – Tales from Earthsea Though it may be one of the least memorable Ghibli movies, it would be impossible to forget this scene from Tales from Earthsea. Don't do it! <laughs> Quiet. Throughout the movie, Cobb is an ominous presence with his weird, breathy voice and creepy poise. But it's after he kidnaps Tehanu and starts rapidly aging and deforming that he becomes total nightmare fuel. Cobb! No. Stop it! Cobb's transformation happens gradually throughout the climax, becoming more and more monstrous with each passing minute. By the end of the metamorphosis, he has gaping black holes for eyes, his voice has turned into a shrill croak, and his body has swollen to a colossal size. As if being an evil dark wizard wasn't bad enough. Anyone who gets in my way must die! Number 6. Ape Tribe – Princess Mononoke This is our forest. The human. Give him to us. Princess Mononoke is one of Ghibli's most morally complex movies. While we're cheering for the side of nature and all of the forest's inhabitants, many of the creatures are savage, vicious, and frankly pretty scary. The ape tribe, for example, is straight up terrifying. While protagonist Ashitaka is injured, the apes surround him as well as San and her wolf guard Moro, intending to eat them. If we eat the human, we will steal his strength and we will drive the other humans away. Give us the man-creature. We don't get a clear look at any of the apes, and that just makes them all the more threatening. Shrouded in darkness, only their bulky silhouettes and glowing red eyes are discernible. Luckily, the wolves are able to chase the apes off before we're scarred for life. Wait! Come back! Number 5. God Warrior Returns – Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind Throughout Nausicaa, the giant god warriors are built up to be terrifying forces of destruction, who in the distant past destroyed civilization. 
When one is resurrected in the film's finale, it's easy to see why they're so feared. The scene where the prematurely hatched god warrior is unleashed against giant insectoids called ohms is straight out of a monster movie. The thing is a glob of melting flesh with a protruding, half-formed skeleton and cold, beady eyes. Not to mention, it also shoots out a devastating energy beam from its mouth. <laughs> Number 4. Seta's Mother – Grave of the Fireflies Seta, I'm glad you're here. Are you okay? My mom. This way. While a poignant and masterful piece of cinema, Grave of the Fireflies is straight up hard to watch due to its unending string of horrific scenes. One of the most disturbing moments is when teenage Seta sees his mother at the hospital following a catastrophic firebombing. Even wrapped in full body bandages, we can see the extent of her burns and how close she is to death. There's no catharsis for Seta or the audience, as she's unable to speak and dies soon after. While Seta has to bear witness to his mother's death, the moment is so gut-wrenching for both its sadness and its hopeless terror that we don't want you to have to suffer through it here as well. Instead, you can experience it when you watch the flick on your own time. Number 3. Pig Parents – Spirited Away Hello in there! Does anybody work here? Spirited Away is infamous for scaring its intended audience of young people. This scene in particular gave kids plenty of reason to sleep uneasily for years to come. Setting the stressful tone for the first act, Chihiro discovers that her parents have been turned into pigs after they ignored her warnings not to enter the abandoned amusement park. Come on, quit eating! Let's get out of here! <laughs> All alone, with a river blocking Chihiro's way back to her car, Chihiro is totally trapped. The scene preys on our childhood fears of being separated from our parents in an unfamiliar place, almost too effectively. <laughs> Number 2. Demon Nago – Princess Mononoke The consequences of corrupting nature is a recurring theme in Princess Mononoke, and the movie's opening gets right to the point. Nago is a demon-possessed boar god who attacks Ashitaka's village. The scene where Nago attacks is paced almost like something out of Jurassic Park, with the suspense building until he finally appears. And wow, what an appearance! Covered in strange black worm-like goop and seemingly half decayed, Nago is even worse than he's built up to be. While it's unfortunate that Nago was originally an innocent deity, we have to admit to a sigh of relief when he's taken down by Ashitaka. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. First time meeting Yubaba, spirited away. Yubaba flies directly at the camera, almost like she's coming straight for us. Don't say that! Aaron's nightmare, Tales from Earthsea. This one gave us nightmares of our own. Uh, no! No! Let go! The river spirit's real face, spirited away. Even though it's a nice moment, come on, that face doesn't give you the creeps. Well done. Moro's laugh, Princess Mononoke. Moro's unpredictability makes it all the creepier when she laughs in Ashitaka's face. <laughs> Before we continue, just a quick shout out to the strategic mobile game Ark Knights, which has just launched its latest expansion, Partial Necrosis. This major update explores Chapter 6 in the main storyline and introduces new operators like 6 star guard Blaze, 5 star sniper Greythroat, and 4 star sniper Ambriel. In addition, players can collect new outfits and furniture themes to customize their experience. What are you waiting for? Check out Ark Knights today. Number 1. No Faces Rampage – Spirited Away <laughs> From the moment we meet No Face, we don't quite trust him. The combination of his disembodied mask, his strange moans, and his ominous idling outside of the bathhouse immediately make him vaguely sinister. You're still smiling! <laughs> we watch No Face become more and more explicitly threatening throughout the film's first two acts, culminating in him eating one of the bathhouse staff and then later chasing after Chihiro. 
By this point, No Face has swollen to a monstrous size and has developed a menacingly large set of teeth, giving the chase a palpable sense of danger. His fury and the horror of his new look make this scene heart racing even upon rewatching. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.